and hello internet, Gordo Zunu here. I'm sorry that I wasn't uh, here on the internet for a long time, but I have some trouble with my job. Anyway, I wanted to show you something that I cannot even know how to explain. On the internet there is this uh, conspiracy theorist guy, when I saw his video first time I thought well, this must be a troll, there is no way that someone think things like this, but as you can see, he actually believes in those conspiracies that he's talking. He literally claims how exotic animals don't exist and how that is everything just a one giant conspiracy theory. Today I'm just gonna explain, as simply as I can, why people make up animals. And it's nothing new. Way back in the day, if you've ever looked at really old maps that have oceans on it, you'll usually see a few scary ocean monsters drawn on the map. And people have been telling tall tales of fake animals probably since the beginning. But people back then didn't know actually what is in the ocean and they even claim how there are islands with uh, weird looking people, which is not true actually. And people still come up with them. I guess Chupacabra is pretty pretty recent invention and it's just nothing new. Chupacabra, got the jackalope. Every area has their own hoax animals. Drop Bear is a double hoax because it's a hoax built on a hoax. Koalas are not real animals. They're just little plushies that people used to build a taxidermy bear and stick it up in a tree and they tell people that it's an animal. And nowadays it's just a little bit more advanced. They have CGI and animatronics. There's Wolpertinger, it's just nothing new. The platypus, people knew that the platypus was a hoax when they first came out with it. The platypus is so weird that scientists, even the scientists thought the first specimen was a hoax and they were right. But there's this whole concept of a big lie. If you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe it. And so just like the platypus, the scientists at the time, they knew it was a hoax but they just kept telling a lie over and over and over again and it's just been adopted and people just assume it's true. No, platypus are not real. That's one of the biggest animals that they use to try to push evolution. When you start to get the hang of what the fake animals are, the fake animals are the ones that you don't just see running around outside like squirrels and cats and dogs. The fake animals are the special ones that you need to see on the TV or at the zoo. And we're gonna get into one that you see at the zoo in particular in a second. But anyways, you get the feel for what the big animals are, the big fake animals. And they're the media favorites, too. The media loves the fake animals more than anything. That's why the WWF... That is not how zoology work, but this is what happens when you spend too much time online. You start thinking how because people make fun with Photoshop, suddenly everything is Photoshop, even in real life. Look. Koala bears are seen in public many times because in Australia they are on many places. People who live there actually can see them. Uh, it's not like that you can fake wild animal. It's simply not possible for many reasons. Pointing out the simple truth that zebras are painted that way. That's why some of them are so nice. Like these ones are really, really nice. They're not all this good quality. And the thing that you'll notice though, because this is in LA, that's why these ones are really nice. Look at the nose! That's just a regular horse's nose. You can see that they, they don't paint all the way up the nose, probably because it irritates the animal. When they drink water, that, that's probably why, look, that's just a horse's nose. That's a horse. That's not a zebra. So, you know when people are like, are zebras black? with white stripes, are zebras white with black stripes? Uh, neither, they are clearly brown and they've been painted black and white. It's brown, look at underneath it, it's brown. And a lot of times around the eyes too. It's like you can even see the brown in the hair too. Yep, they are brown and they're painted black and white. Why are there so many different types of stripes? How come sometimes the stripes are faded? Sometimes you'll see them smudged, and it's because it's up to artistic interpretation. And that's why you get some that are half painted. There's a 
Another thing that there's a million and one of is all the different combinations of throughout history, everybody has claimed to make some sort of, oh, a zebra and a mule, a zewel, oh, a zebra and a horse, a zorse. Oh, for every combination that you can think of, somebody has, has talked about it. And all it is, it's just a horse at various different stages of painting. Oh, we're gonna... I think that they should do a IQ test before they allow people to make videos on YouTube. I mean, just think about it. Why would some secret uh, Illuminati conspiracy happen so they can convince people that some animals that don't even exist actually exist? For God's sake, in Africa, there are people who see uh, zebras all the time. They even hunt them, especially because of their skin. And of course, they are similar to the horses. It is the same family of the animal. Same like with the canines. We know that the dog family can spread to the many species. I mean, clearly, there are no different versions of the dogs. That fox that I saw in the forest, that is clearly a paid actor by his logic. I mean, come on, what uh, lions hunt in the Africa all the time? Honestly, I am not even sure what to say anymore about this guy. What he says is just plain nonsense. Anyway, this is the short video I make about it. So, if you do like it to actually make a longer description of this channel and what this guy actually believes, just put it down in the comment section. I would like to see what kind of videos you would love to see from me in the future. That will be all. Lord Ozunu is out.